Hello everyone. Hi princess. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How was your week? Uh, I didn't get breakfast, so I'm good. Ah, well, so is it weekly that you get breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ladies first, Adachi, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. How was last week? Traffic? Very restful. Tra- I, didn't, like, restful. I could not ah, try I want to live in your world. I could not enter that road. I was resting. Okay. <laughs> Doing? Oh, my week. Um... It's a long week, and my week is still ongoing. It's still long so. <laughs> <laughs> Literally still long in. Mm-hmm. All right, then. Okay. Um, princess, I think Princess has, she has paved the way for this. She spoke about breakfast. <laughs> yeah. So um, <laughs> there's something happening, right? And um, what we're going to talk about us as believers, right? Yeah. So now, I want to date, you know, perfect scenario, all that and some of those type of things. Check. Chris Den guy. Check. Happens to, you know, share my doctrines strongly. Maybe probably in the same church or a church that's similar to mine. I know all that part, spirituality, speaking in various of tongues and everything is going on. But, and the, this guy loves Jesus, but we still don't get it right. Like, why? Like, have you noticed, like, so, you know, before, the gist was like, oh, you're not equally yoked. But now, it's not more about, equ- it's not more about the yoke. It's now, yeah. something is, <laughs> it's not about the egg. <laughs> not about the egg, but something else is happening, right? Like, believers are, you know, dating, and they have similar things going on, but relationships are not still working. What, what is happening? Why is this? Why is the breakfast? I, 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 <laughs> <Let it start. laughs> Okay. I, I, I actually think I, I think people are not real. Okay. Some persons are just pressured. You know, okay, I'm a girl. I want this guy to be um a Jesus son with a touch of the touch of body. That one. <laughs> that one. But then, you know, I'm pressuring pressuring him not to be who he is. Mm. You know, so he ends up becoming this and that, and then I'm not enjoying it in the long run. So I think everybody should just be real. So you're saying that what, what might be happening is that people are expecting you to just not be yourself beyond being a Christian Yeah, guy. be yourself. You know, the freedom we have in Christ is enough, you get. So I, which, which stand are you standing? Are you standing from women part? Or? I'm standing from women part because somehow women pressure men. To okay. do to become what they should and like beyond what okay. they think, you and know. And <laughs> <laughs> okay, princess, princess. Ah, princess. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like when you were checking on the list, I thought you know, dark guy, check. Tall, check. Handsome, check. Beard, check. Friend, dumb, check. Rich. Have fun, Rich. check. Rich. <laughs> so like, I agree with that you when um. A lot of girls or a lot of ladies in the church are always looking for spiritual brothers with small touch of bad boy. And um, oh. you see that the at, at, at some point, the bad boy part of it now overwhelms the whole relationship. Like when and they see it. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then you just realize that you are even getting served the great part you didn't see coming. Because the bad boy part of it has already attracted the other people. Yeah. And what's going on? You are losing your relationship. But, so I feel like um, it's all about goal setting mm. you know, at the end of the day. So maybe um, people should stop looking at um, physical things and maybe choosing their, making their choices based on... Okay. Physical no, no, I, I want to bring this thing that. back. So now I'm not saying that. Okay, let's ignore the tall that and some because trust me those things are unrealistic mm-hmm. I'm, I'm talking about now you your heart you know that it was not really about tall that and some so okay light skin short i don't know something else not tall that and some everybody's always talking about but you know that you picked this person not based on how they looked but because of their heart for god mm-hmm. and what they, they are serving in church and they're doing this thing, but it's not still working. So we're not talking about the physical now. Okay. You chose this person because you know this person is born in for God. Yeah. This person is a good Christian. But when you enter the relationship, you guys now realize that 
So let's not even attack it from one gender to one. Like mm -hmm. both of you collectively together. Yeah. Why are we not still? Because ideally, as believers, if we are learning in church, listening to relationship message, everything, are we not supposed to be winning in relationships mm, as believers? Yeah. Except when it's two believers. Yeah. You will see that unbelievers are even getting it right or different religion are getting it right. So okay. what's the okay, well, to, to, to an extent, I think I agree with the fact that sometimes we are not realistic with ourselves, yeah. with expectations to start with. Yeah. Then also, like when you bring up this, is a brother in church or she's a sister, whatever. At the end of the day, when you get into the relationship with, with this person, there's something that we, we tend to miss. The fact that the person that is coming at you, that you're going into the relationship together, it's more or less like a clash of ideologies. Yeah. Mm. Like we have exactly. different upbringings. Often, yes. When we are in church, most times, eh? You just see our brain. There's a facade of yes. outward perfection. Yeah. Like, you are very old. It's all steps when you're like, God bless you. Yeah. God bless you, God bless you. you feel like, oh man, this guy is perfect. This lady is. When does he have a relationship? It doesn't. Like when you get into the relationship, like the real, real person, life. Like, yes. real life comes into play. And I think some people, or some of us, we when, when that happens, we have this shock value because. We're the not culture expecting shock. that. Yeah. yeah, like, oh my God, this guy is like this, or this lady is like this. Yeah. So it's more or less about clash of ideologies and people don't not understanding how to set balance. Yeah, exactly. I think it's very universal, to yeah. be honest. Not even as believers, because I think and young people, I think we need to start knowing that, like, okay, yes, in church. And it's like the workplace too. Everybody on a Zoom call in meeting, they're like speaking English, everything. But that's not what they do when they're at home, or when yeah. they're watching football Real. with their boys, yeah. or when you're out with your friends. Mm. So I think sometimes we need to remember that too, that, okay, beyond, okay, first checklist, you're yeah, a Christian. Well, now we now need to, before we dive into this relationship, let's know, let's each, know other each other, our persons, days, our persons, yeah. yeah. Happy days, good days. What is your family like? What do you, how do you perceive life? Politics, different, different things, things make a whole person. Yeah. More than just believing sure, in Christ. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, it makes a whole person. Yeah, so I feel like a lot of people base their, um, their choice of um, relationship and partnership based, on, based off of um, what they see in church. Mm. And they forget the compatibility part of it. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Two people can be so perfect on their own, but when they come, come together, together it becomes a problem. It's, a yeah. Yeah. It, it even happens in, work, in in a typical team. You can have two good people and no one is taking ownership because two of them are good. And you see that the project is failing. Why? Mm. Because there is no compatibility. Mm. They're not able to work together. Mm -hmm. So I think this is what happens in relationships. In relationship. yeah. I think that's why most Christian relationships fail. I, I wouldn't even say yeah. most Christian relationship. I'm just looking at it from why are we part of that breakfast Box, yeah. team too? Same. Are we not supposed to be winning? And like I've said it, so me, I even think compatibility, I think is relative because I feel like it's a mindset. If I start a business now, if it's failing, I know what to do mm. Mm. to make sure it works, yeah. right? Because business fails, right? So I think... The problem we have said it from the beginning, and everybody has agreed it's expectations. Mm. Mm -hmm. Like, he's a Christian boy, she's a Christian girl, so you just expect better. The day you fight and they call you a name, you can't believe it because the Bible has taught you don't call somebody yeah. a name. And you're like, well, he's a human being, okay. he's yeah. angry, she's yeah. angry too. So, you will see that thing, yeah. you will see her true self. And mm. I think, I think we need to strip that off because even for unbelievers, so that's what is happening. You see a guy is wearing a suit, looks nice, he's speaking well to everybody there, and you get home with him, you see his core self, and you can't deal with it because you want that guy on suit that was greeting everybody in the wood and smelling nice what Now he gets into it. So I think once expectation is stripped down a bit, mm. we're not like, okay, can I accept you the way you are? And what can we do to make it better? Teamwork. People forget that that Christian part of us should even show more compassion with yeah. people. And Allowed, I think there's a scripture like that that says, allow people's faults or people's, um, I don't know, I'm paraphrasing, but yeah. give chance for people's, yeah. like, their shortcomings and things like that. But I don't think we do that because we don't expect. We, can, we don't even give our, our own, your own sister in the house. Exactly, you know the, not to think of somebody that's 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 home. Nah, no, 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 no. <laughs> so if, yeah. you don't, if you have fights with your sister in the house, you can't you can do it out. It's just a, a matter of team spirit. Like, love people the way you love yourself. 
That's yes. the question. Do you love yourself? No. Don't you think that breakfast is a root cause of? Yeah. Don't you think sometimes breakfast is like a root cause of I don't love myself? Mm. So I will show you too that you cannot be loved. And everybody <laughs> wants to prove that we will not love, right? No, it's very it's complicated, and you know we're still young, but the yeah. older I get, and I just the think about it like yeah. men. People that have made it work, when you listen to them, you now realize that it's not about they did, yeah, they, 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 they did a lot. Yeah. With yeah. Yes, 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 this thing. Exactly. And it, I remember in February, I think it was the Love Series, was that what it was called? Pastor said something, and I think it was very powerful. He said that maximize your partner's strengths and, you know, don't pay attention, don't focus on their weaknesses. Obviously, we can't ignore weaknesses. They are there, mm -hmm. and they will annoy you, but... It's like that thing too we always say about sin and grace. The more you focus on sin, 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 yeah. sin you fall. The more you focus on grace, 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 yeah. you see that even your appetite for sin will reduce. Yeah. So it's the same thing too. The more you look at people, Strength. this thing I'm saying, I'm advising myself too. The more you look at people, <laughs> the more you yeah. look at people's strengths Strength. and you focus on it. Why did I like this person? Why do I want to be in this person? Why is this person yeah. a good person? Why it is works. This person yeah. Then you now start to see that, okay, the weaknesses, maybe they are teachable, yeah. you can work around it. But I think we, we, I think we all strive for perfection. Yeah. Like the pressure is a lot on ourselves and partners. Like, <laughs> what do you guys think? I think so. Like, for me personally, I don't think I strive for perfection. I think I strive, like I said before, I strive more for compatibility. How are you? How are you speaking? those languages to me sometimes um i don't really Gary want Chapman. to hear outside church i really do not want to hear you speaking in tongues i want you speaking my love language outside of church so if you are now mixing it up right <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 love like, language in what you're trying to say so um if princess you, what's if your you love language to, if you don't know my love language and this Easiest things you noticing that um, I don't like salad and oh. you don't buy me salad. Oh. Things as little as that, you know. So you're trying to say that we you should, we should, we should, for me. we should not. Ah ah. But you said that the baseline yeah. should be believer and all that. Then we can now move further to now see. Yes, the baseline is your yeah, behavior, how you understand me better. Exactly. Everything. The way you speak to me. But is that not pressure to when it has to be, you must speak my love? M must, yeah, that's better. a pressure. So, again, again, that's why I said compatibility. If the person if can't speak it, the person exactly. should go. Exactly, if you can't speak it, that means we're not even meant if to If you can't speak together. French, go, yeah. Go. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Well, yeah, yeah, so I think three things I would take out. I, um, expectations we yeah. all have like really high expectations. Yes. Second thing is that we don't want to put the work okay. into it yeah. when the expectations are not mm. met. And thirdly, that's when everybody now says, "Let's cut let's go." And the third thing is that um, maybe we are not being team members enough when we get into a relationship. Everybody wants to be satisfying me, scratch my back, I scratch yeah. your back, and maybe that's not the way to go. Sometimes yeah. some backs may not be scratched very well. Some other person's backs like. Somebody is always the bigger person yeah. at that time, and I think, yeah, yeah, at that time, and we don't give that. That's what I think, too, like, that we can, every, the breakfast and, you know, breakups and relationship mm. issues is universal. It's not peculiar to Christians. To Christians well, we are yeah. just talking because we have that in common that, uh -huh. what can we do better as believers, too? And I think being like Christ really in relationship yeah, really, really changed everything. Yeah. Patient. Kindness, Long yeah, yes, just sure, yeah. understand, understand people, emotional yeah. intelligence, you know, yeah. very, critical. very critical, yeah, <laughs> very, critical. Very, very, important. Important. <laughs> very, very important, very, very important. Like, when you'll be getting angry at this, yes, yeah. yeah. and yeah. also opening up to people that have done it before us and yeah. learning from them. Yeah. Because exactly. I know some people struggle with that. I guess we'll get it right, we will eventually. We will. eventually. Yeah. <laughs> so last, we'll last. <laughs> last, last. <laughs> We'll Everything will be all right. Show. Not not <laughs> everybody go <laughs> get breakfast. <laughs> we'll be on a show talking about how we pull through and you know how we're celebrating five years in marriage. Thank Woo! You. Yeah. yeah, that's me. Yeah, so these things happen, but yeah, we just need to we need to look at things more from an intelligent point and from a realistic yeah, point. Yeah, realistic. 
human beings will be human beings. They love God, they are good, but they grew up in a different environment. Their experiences in life are different and things like that. And hopefully when we start giving people that chance, we'd have successful relationships, relationship. I guess. Oh. All right. Thank you, guys. Yeah, and thank you. Stop.